Hello and welcome to Crafted Spaces. I'm your host Yvette Michelle Cottle Darby and today for our DIY project we're going to be transforming a thrift store find and taking the front face of it and using chalk paint. One of the things that we have is the first item as I said is a find that we got at our local thrift store. Um, this was only $3.99 and as you can tell it must have been used for a child's bedroom or something along those lines because it has sort of a hand painted front on this piece here. But what we're going to be doing is using um, a chalk paint, a chalk paint in order to cover the front of it um, and just sort of transform it as well as change the handles or knobs on it into these beautiful acrylic ones that we found at our local craft shop. One of the things we're going to be needing for this project is a little piece of sandpaper because we will need to scuff the surface of these before we apply our paint. Um, we're also going to need a brush um, or other some form of applying or tool for applying the paint onto the surface of the drawer. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to take our drawers out and what we can do in this case, we can just simply remove the handles off of the front of them and then we're going to scuff the surface using the paper and then start applying our paint. First thing we're going to want to do is remove the existing fixture that's on there. Now these have very tiny screws so you can literally just turn them and they come right off. We're then going to be taking some sandpaper which we're going to use across the front surface and that's just to help the chalk paint to better adhere to the surface. You can just put a door across. along our edge here. Okay. And as you can tell it's also taking off some of the existing paint finish that's there. So for this part what I'm using is an 80 grit sandpaper. Um, it's not very coarse, however it will help to scuff our surface just enough so that we're not necessarily leaving a lot of grooves or indentation in our finish, but just enough as I said to leave enough of a surface for the new um, finish for it. Now, one of the reasons why we're doing this outside is whenever we're using any type of these types of paint, you want to have a very well ventilated area that you're working with. You can use a pair of gloves when applying, or as I said, you really do want to make sure that it's something that is well ventilated, like we're doing this today outside, which really does help, of course. One of the things with this chalk paint is that it's both writable and erasable, but it's a latex paint, so you do want to watch um, how you use it. The instructions, you want to obviously review your instructions, um, which will go a long way for making sure that your project turns out well. So as you can tell, the color doesn't look very black, but when it dries, of course, you have your chalkboard finish. Now you can dispense some of this in a separate container if you like. In this case, we're just going to apply directly on our surface in nice even strokes. And it will take several applications to cover this completely. I'm using a sponge application in order to get a nice smooth finish to it. Now I've used this product before with a sponge roller which is also another option for applying to your project. Because this is such a small project I didn't do that in this case um, but I found that the sponge roller also gives a wonderful finish.
Now as you can tell, you can still see through the project piece and as I said, it's probably going to take quite a couple applications for you to be able to have a solid finish on this. So now we're going to let that dry and um, reapply another coat. We're applying our second coat to our piece here. This is the first piece that we did, the first drawer. And as you can tell, as you start applying subsequent coats, it is covering the initial paint effect that was underneath. It is a little bit time consuming, but you just want to take your time as you go along the edges. And the more you take your time, the better the effect will be. And there you go. Now, if you notice, I'm also going around the edges of my work just to finish off where the original paint job was and sort of just have more of a neater finish to the edges. So now that I've completed the various application onto our shelves, we're going to let that dry and the conditioning and use instructions are written on the back of the, the container here and basically the idea is that after three days uh, you have the opportunity to use your chalk board you do have to condition it first by applying a chalk along the surface onto it and that will help to condition it for use but as I said full instructions is probably going to be listed on whichever chalk product that you've chosen to use what I like about this is that it allows you when it's finished to be able to use these drawers and you can write on the surface what is the contents of the drawers for your craft studio or workshop. We're also going to be adding these acrylic knobs to it as I mentioned before that we're able to get at our local craft store and that's just going to add a little bit of a bling to our finished product. So thank you for joining Craft Spaces where it's all about creative people, places and things to do.